Welcome to Mysterious Mysteries Round 2. Again, I can't quite get over that jingle. It's a bit like the radio equivalent of just like the basis slapstick Punch and Judy. Would you agree, Mick? I, I would totally agree. But um, you you, to, but you, what you're neglecting to mention is it was your suggestion to put I, that in at the end, Matthew. That is an outrageous <laughs> libel here on the podcast of this repute as well. Anyway, Matthew, last that. week was our first ever episode do you feel after a week you have sufficiently recovered from the experience of the ordeal? I do. I mean, it wasn't the greatest literature. It wasn't the greatest, you know, acting triumph that I feel I've, I've ever no. been engaged with. I However, felt the uh, the performance as a whole was a triumph. Do you think? I, th- I think so. Yeah. We did okay. I mean, you kept me on my toes at times. I, and I will do so again today. Well, I'm looking at, again... Because, frankly, I, I expected your literary skills to be like of a far higher level there were a lot of words being dropped sentences well, being missed i was sight if that reading. happens again then that's it it's I the, was sight the second reading. and only episode gosh well, I was th- <laughs> right so how this how this works i feel we should by way of background i have never seen any of these before so in my defense the defense rests i have never seen <laughs> the these defense be- rests. i have never <laughs> seen these before i've just simply been presented with a piece of paper and a script behind this is matthews and mix mysterious mysteries yeah and Am I allowed to say the, the name of the mystery? T- of the, this, same, the, the title of this, of this this next work. I'd rather you didn't okay. because you spoiled it last week. Oh, I did. Okay, so yeah. I'm being kept on my toes yet again. However, I have just known and seen and I'm holding the title page to the script. I have no idea what the contents will entail. <laughs> Um, and last week I felt went... You well, felt cheapened, I, I feel, I believe, with the words. Cheapened was one of the... Cheapened uh, is one well, of the many uh, colourful words you used to describe uh, It was probably one of the most accurate as well. Well, say, yes. Actually. But then yeah. again, you weren't really that expensive in the first place. <laughs> 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 you are here for free after all. Well, so. I, oh, I've got to earn my keep somehow, you know. Right, so, do you reckon we should get on with it then? Okay, right, we we'll okay. go on, we go on. Well, I will, okay, well, I will announce the title and we will begin our second mysterious mystery. Today's mystery is called The Mars Poopiel. That was <laughs> you were great. Pu- you were pulling a face as if I just <laughs> farted in your face throughout that entire thing. You did thing. open it with that. However, that was beautiful. I like the music. I didn't realise we were getting different music for each well, one. Well, unlike you, Matthew, some of us actually put effort into this show. That was and a very, so, on a theme. That well, was lovely. Very authentic. Well, thank you. Where's that thank taken you. from? <laughs> I'd rather not say, Is for legal reasons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, indeed, indeed. <laughs> right, anyway. Sorry. <clears throat> okay. Captain's Lock, star date 57239043789473290. We've done it. I, Captain Harry Long Johnson, and my co pilot, Lieutenant Dalvin Shart, have landed on Mars, the first man in the history of humanity to do so. It's been a long journey, and many sacrifices have been made to get here. Our families are millions of miles away, and the comforts of Earth are now but a distant memory. But as I make my final checks before I make my way out onto the surface, it is not these concerns that are making me feel uneasy. No, it's someone else that I just can't shake. An eerie feeling. A feeling that despite being on a barren, uncharted planet, myself and the lieutenant are not alone. Everything looks good here, (laughs) Captain. I think we're ready for you to disembark. I'm, I'm hearing a bit of groundskeeper McAllister from last no, week. No, no, in this. That was yeah, no, that, well, no, that was American. I don't know about that. Can, that we, can we hear that again? I feel, I, if we're picking up American accents. It's, I thought mine sounded really good. I don't know what blue suit, brown shoes, greaser you were playing. 
However, I thought mine was all right. from Greece. I thought now mine, the car shop, I now thought, in space. I thought mine was okay. Should I give it another go? Give it a go. I was, yeah. Everything looks good here, Captain. I think we're ready for you to disembark. <laughs> definitely. I, I, right. I think, I think that, that was definitely the McAllister yeah, in there. Anyway, well, well we, we all, we McAllister have... was a big hit with the audience, so that's okay. We're going to have a bit of him back. Thank you, Lieutenant. Houston, can you confirm? Confirmed, Captain Johnson. There's a higher level of methane on the surface than we expected, but that shouldn't cause any problems. You survived the NASA Curry House Challenge after all. Indeed. Professor Robinson passed so much wind that night it smelled like a skunk had died uh, and crawled up his ass. Oh, uh, here we go. <laughs> they wouldn't say ass, would they? Ah. How, oh, well, they I, would wrote ask, I did write ass in the script, oh, but I, I changed it. No, they I, would. You, they, they would say ass, I've, yeah. I've muddled my asses. Sorry. Uh, absolutely. Well, not the first time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we won't go into details. <laughs> carry on, carry on. Well, no, it's you. Oh, is it? Where? Oh. It smelled like a skunk had died and crawled up his ass. A little tag, please, Captain. It's only been the first week since we lost Subcommander Ericsson that way. See, once again, first, where did the word first appear in that script? Oh, yeah, sorry. See, that, that would have made no sense. Oh, it's sorry. only... So read it again. A, li- a little tag... I've forgotten my Houston accent. A little tag, please, Captain. It's only been a week since we lost Subcommander Ericsson that way. Apologies, Houston. I suppose his family are listening to this exchange. They are indeed. They're, well, when? When have you heard a Houstonian say they are indeed? <laughs> what backwater southerner would say they are indeed? How, well, well, these uh, Houston would be like the, you, the cream of the crop of the academic circles of America. He's keeping me on my toes on just... You say they are indeed in an American accent, convincingly. They are indeed? They, they, they are indeed, <laughs> along with the rest of the world. We're currently live on every major broadcaster on Earth. Everyone down here is very excited to see the first man walk on Mars, Captain. When you're ready, let's give them a short... Oh, when they're ready, let's (laughs) give them a show history will never forget. Houston, over and out. And so I gave the nod to Lieutenant Shard. (laughs) Sorry. I also feel appalling because I feel like I I lumped Houstonians with 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 the moniker... Backwater, well, Southerner, which is an you, outrageous... You better hope that no I, one from Houston is listening no, to this, because no, I feel well, you're a no, little disparaging like of them I'd to make there. it very clear <laughs> that uh, that phrase was actually written into the script, no, and indeed that's part of the characterization. Mm, you've I got did, to give me an inch here. You know, well, I did not mean to insult any of our great and anticipated <laughs> fans in the Houstonian area. Of which there are many. Of which there are very many, <laughs> and indeed will be... Sorry, we, okay, we digress. Yeah, so which, 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 this, Houston, over and out. And so I gave the nod to Lieutenant Shart to open the airlock door. All personnel stand clear. All personnel stand clear. All personnel stand clear. All personnel stand clear. This is going on a bit longer than I thought it did. Oh! <laughs> is, this, is this Nemesis? This, this, this is very good, isn't it? Ooh. Am I in Disneyland? <laughs> no, we're, we're now on the surface. Mm-hmm. The dusty plains of Mars lay before me. As I descended the ladder, I fought back to Neil Armstrong's famous words a century ago, as he first set foot in the moon, and how whatever I heard and uttered next would likewise live forever in human memory. Fuck me! It smells like someone laid an egg down here! Congratulations, Captain, on becoming the first man to walk on a foreign planet. But try to stick to the script we rehearsed, or else you might get a discharge. And I don't mean the kind you had when you contracted... uh. (laughs) Goodness me. (laughs) I was actually getting into the flow of that sentence. Because I genuinely thought that had a wee bit of punch to it. There was some act, yeah. there was some character that I could get involved with there, and I'm not. It's just such an, it's such an inane. My my younger, my, I I could have a, any any twelve year old yeah. could write that. I think. Well, could write what you haven't. Can you repeat? And the I lo- don't can mean. You... And I don't mean. Wait, wait. Start it from uh, or else. Oh, where are we? Oh, yeah, just oh, try yeah. to stick to the script. But try to, <laughs> but try to stick to the script we rehearsed, or else you might get a discharge. And I don't mean the kind you had when you contracted. And then he's inserted a medical term for <laughs> what? sexually transmitted infection. <laughs> what? Which one is it? It begins with G. Yeah. And I bet you can't spell it without looking at the script. 
Okay. Abigail. Okay. G O. I gave, I gave him that. Okay. N. Yeah. N. Two no, N's. No, he's no got one, one N. Yeah. One Gone. N. I think they've uh, guessed it now, haven't they? H E R E A. R R H E A. And then there's a full stop. And it's uh, now yes. you. And I don't mean the kind you contracted when you had. And then he said that. <laughs> contract when. The line he's supposed to say is, and I don't mean the kind you had when you contracted gonorrhea. Understood, Houston. Now we have the president on the line. He's very keen to speak to you, Captain. Put him on, Houston. I've got a bit of ground to cover before I can plant the flag in the ground so I could do with some company. The communications line went on hold as NASA proceeded to make the connection. I began my walk to the urethra crater, which, which we had selected as the spot to position the American flag. But as I made my way across the short expanse, I still couldn't shake the uncomfortable feeling I'd, ever, I'd had ever since landing. The feeling that I was being watched. I tried to dismiss the thoughts. Probably just imagining things after staying up late watching Doctor Who with Lieutenant Sharp last night, I thought. Yes, that must be it. Sharp was so scared he wet himself, quite a sight in zero gravity. But just as I started to feel a little more at ease, a little more alone, I discovered what it was like to feel truly terrified. For at that exact moment, something grabbed my shoulder. <laughs> Get off me! Help! Whoa, it's okay, Captain. Calm down, it's only me. Lieutenant Sharp! God damn it, you scared the crap out of me! What are you doing out here? You're supposed to be in the capsule. Houston aren't gonna be happy. You weren't cleared to join me on the surface. You thought I was gonna stay cramped up in there while you had all the fun? Not a chance! I want the history books to feature the name Shart <laughs> alongside yours. Well, I can't say I blame you. Hell, I probably would have done the same myself. Very well, keep up with me. We need to get this flag to the crater. Hello? Are you reading me, Captain Johnson? This is the President of the United States. President Stroker, reading you loud and clear. It's an honor to hear from you, Mr. President. The honor is all mine, and please call me Willie. Thank you, sir. I mean, Willie. We're all mighty proud of you back here on Earth, Captain. Here in the White House, we even postponed the Chief of Staff's Curry House Challenge to make sure we could be here in the Oval Office to witness this historic moment. Mick? Yeah. What? What, <laughs> what do you mean, what? What is a Curry House Challenge? Curry House? Have you never had a Curry House Challenge before? I've never had one. Well, I have a feeling that I don't need to explain. Is it going because, to be revealed? Because the script is... I'll just... Is this it going isn't, to, is that it isn't going the to, last is reference it, to a Curry House challenge. Is it going to be revealed in zero gravity? <laughs> <laughs> and that, was, that was the wrong time for me has, to take a swig, a swig of lager. <laughs> he has just taken a swig. You put that down, especially not near the machinery as well, the electronics. Um... um We've not lost it. He's back. I don't. I don't want to give any spoilers. Okay. So I'm. I'm just. It's an interesting theory. Okay. I'll give you that. Yeah. And um. I'm guessing it. And I'm glad. I'm glad the curry house challenge bit is what's caught your uh, caught your eye. Well, it's been it, it's been it's been inserted a few times now. It the, has the phrase. Yeah. <laughs> so it's been around, and I've not didn't understand it. I didn't quite get there the first. You time. thought the first one might have just been a throwaway. Well, the thought remark. the first reference. Yeah, I thought maybe that's just been a you know a little sideball, but now it probably <laughs> strikes me as being. <laughs> More of a centre stage um, sort, of, it's sort of idea. A recur- it, a well, maybe theme. it might... Yeah, it certainly seems like this may be a recurring theme in, okay. this, in this play. Right. We've, right. We've, what was, and, what was and, read- we, and we've lost them. We've lost it. Read your okay. last line again, because mine, I think, responds to it. We even postponed the Chief of Staff's Curry House Challenge to make sure we could be here in the Oval Office to witness this historic moment. That means a lot to me, Willie. From what I've heard, those nights can be an absolute blast. Is it true that last time the Situation Room became so pungent there was a level 4 evacuation? Indeed, Secretary Staines was in decontamination for five days. (laughs) Well, your sacrifice should be worthwhile, sir, as I'm about to place our great flag into the Martian soil for the very first time. Make us proud, Captain. Willie Stroker, (laughs) over and out. Do you, do you like the name of the president? Yeah, I'm brushing over it. <laughs> okay. With that, the communications line switched back to Houston, who gave me the all clear to proceed. 
I unfurled the flag which I carried in my backpack and carefully attached it to the pole, making sure it was fastened securely enough to survive the inevitable Martian storms. With this completed, I hoisted the flag into the air and took a moment to sever, savor the truly momentous moment, and when I was satisfied, I plunged it firmly into the ground. What was that sound, <sighs> Captain? You just oh, spoke over. Over. <laughs> <laughs> Firmly into the ground. What was that sound, Captain? Is everything okay down there? Yes, yes, we're fine. The flag's in the ground, Houston. But it passed through something on the surface on its way in. What the hell? What is it, Captain? What's there? It... it can be. Damn it, Johnson, what are you seeing? It... it looks like... like a human poo. <laughs> and it's... it's... it's still warm. This doesn't make sense. We would expect to find something like this in Uranus, but not on Mars. There have been much worse things in my anus, Houston. <laughs> no doubt. Listen, Captain Johnson, NASA didn't make any preparations for such a discovery, but it's imperative that we find out more. Have you got the science equipment with you to perform some preliminary scans? Negative, Houston. The science equipment is back in the capsule. Well, then you must return to the capsule to get it. It's in the box labeled science equipment. And hurry, Johnson, you don't need us to remind you that if that thing's still warm... I know, Houston. If it's still warm, then whoever or whatever laid it is close. <laughs> This is getting more seminal with every minute. Oh, <laughs> this, uh, I, I, I could see maybe a, a Pulitzer Prize uh, come in for this. You've done well here. Thank you. Yeah. yeah the, Don't you think that is a great premise? Well, the finds a okay. Bam, first man on Mars, barren planet, human poo, oh, and gosh. it's still warm. I, I was particularly enjoying the 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 insertion of the, of the Uranus joke there. Uh, how well, do you how are you meant to say? It? Is it Uranus? Or well, Uranus? I was really I was glad that you said Uranus because if you'd said Uranus, then that joke just what's would not have worked at all. What's the English way of saying it? It's well, it's Uranus. And but, what's the American? But way? like school teachers would say Uranus just, just to, to avoid the o obvious hilarious but, but, gag. Yeah, but which you've you, which you've sprung upon. Which I have. Yeah. Yeah. I see, yeah. Would you like me to go with you, Captain? It may be safer if we stick together. Negative, Lieutenant. We can't be seen to abandon the flag so quickly when there are so many folk back home on Earth watching. We don't want to unnecessarily alarm anyone. Just stay here and pretend to do some science. Yes, Captain. I'll start putting bits <gasps> of dirt... Oh, no! <laughs> Sorry. No, no, that wasn't even a sound effect. No. But, Mick, no. It's... it's well, no, he's drinking on the job. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm sorry. Don't lump me in this. Uh, I can tell. Well, hey, that. you're on your second bottle. Yeah, but I can hold it. Well, I know. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that we was... can't. No, that's amateur. Yeah. That's too amateur. I don't that work is... with those. And you're the director. I am, I am very what sorry, What sort Matthew? of role model are you assessing? Well, I do know that young children listen to this show. No, so I mean, it's... for me, what sort of example? <laughs> I mean, for me, what sort of example are you setting me? Well, I, you want me you, to be know, some, well, some you, junk writer I, layabout, like like what I'm dealing with at the moment? <laughs> I do, I've well, lost I my do, grammar I do well. know that you look up to me, Matthew, so well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. No, but you, it just makes you realise that even I can be human at times. Yeah, yeah, indeed. You've ruined it for yourself. Yes. You've ruined it for the listeners. I have. You have? If there are any left. W where were we? I right. have no idea. Uh, yes, um, Captain. I'll start putting bits of dirt into boxes and pressing buttons on my PDA immediately. Excellent. I'll be back as soon as I can, Lieutenant. In the meantime, stay vigilant. This place seems to be full of surprises. And oh, I was about to do my constable voice from last week. And so I made... And so I made my way back to the capsule and thought about how this mission had raised more questions and answers about this strange planet. Mankind had long theorized there may be life here, from little green men to microorganisms in the soil, but such theories had never been lent, lent much credence. If what we had found was truly a poo, let alone a human one, then the book of what we thought we knew would have to be rewritten. My thought process was swiftly broken, however, upon reaching the capsule and opening the airlock. All personnel stand clear. All <laughs> we, personnel we have to sit through this again. You enjoying, enjoying the play so far, I think the premise is okay. Actually. Yeah, okay. Like this bit. I'm Yeah. See if the airlock's just opening. Okay. Yeah. 
<sighs> Come on. Wait, there we go. Right, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, I will. Thank you. Right. What greeted me was a scene. Oh, I need my background noise. What greeted me was a scene of utter dev devastation. The interior of the capsule was in complete disarray, with pooey skid mark stains everywhere the eye could see. And there, in the middle of all, covered head to toe in feces, lay Lieutenant Sharp, mortally wounded. <laughs> Captain! Shart! I don't understand! How did you get here? What happened? It, it was all so quick, Captain. So quick. What, what was quick? What happened here, Shart? Speak, damn it! He, he attacked me. He was enormous, Captain, and so qu quick I, I didn't stand a chance. I don't have much time, Captain. It's too late for me, but you must save yourself. Leave this planet now before it's too late. Not until you tell me who did this to you. He... He was a... Giant piece of... Excrement. Uh, that, that's not what the script I'm not swearing. <laughs> I'm not swearing. <laughs> what? I'm not... It's, we've got what our listeners... You, not swear? you swore got, last week, didn't you? No, did I? We've got no. our listeners to think about. Well... Well, yeah, they, they can, they make can a, handle this. Another word for excrement, beginning with S and ending with T. Okay. He was a giant piece of... Shit. And then it's. <laughs> right. Of course he was. Only something of pure evil could do this to a man. But tell me, what exactly was he? You don't understand, Captain. He was literally, literally, he's put italics here, oh, yeah. a giant piece of. It doesn't matter. Just get yourself out of here, Captain. But c can I ask one thing of you before I pass? Anything. Tell my wife. Promise me you'll tell my wife. <laughs> This is actually quite that 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 she's a massive effing bee. <laughs> what? No, no, come on! No, you, you, this is prime time slot. Uh, like, we can't have it during the day. You've got to say that it. She's a massive. I didn't realise you had a problem with swearing. Well, we can't have you that. You swear all the time off air. <laughs> that's the privacy of my own head. Well, yeah. It? But we can't do it on air, can we? Well, yeah, we can. Are we excluding listeners? I don't think so. Okay. It just She's goes a massive out with fucking like... bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, Let's do like the whole another Tell my wife. Tell my wife. <laughs> I tell my wife. Promise me you'll tell my wife that that she's a massive effing bee. <laughs> she knows, Lieutenant. <laughs> And with that, like a candle extinguished by a gentle breeze, or a floater finally dislodged after oh. a barrage of flushing, Tenon Sharp was dead. <laughs> Captain Johnson, Captain Sharp's heart monitor just flatlined. What the hell is going on down there? The capsule was attacked, Houston. Sharp didn't make it. What the hell? At least he died doing what he loved. Being covered in human excrement. <laughs> human excrement? Affirmative. Just like the one we found out by the flag. It's everywhere, Houston. What's the status of the status? Ah, oh, status. Mm -hmm. What's the status of the capsule? How much damage has it suffered? Worse than that suffered by the Carolina Tandori after the Aeronautics Research Department's curry house. Oh, we've got that particular theme as risen <laughs> yeah. again. Dear God. It's everywhere, Houston. All over the consoles, the supplies, even the steering wheel is covered in the stuff. Sorting this kind of mess was the lieutenant's area of expertise. Damn it. If only he'd stayed with me. If only he'd stayed with the flag like I'd asked him to. Instead of coming back to the capsule, then he, we, he would have been spared. We could have fixed this thing together. The hell are you talking about, Captain? Lieutenant Sharp. Hey, hold left. on. We're oh, not sorry. in the Royal Navy oh, here. Sorry. Sorry. This isn't, this isn't uh, Sharp's Brigade, is yeah. it? What is it? Sharp's Dragoons. <laughs> sorry. <coughs> Lieutenant. Uh, Mr. Willoughby, if you would please. Uh, sorry. Well, where, where is this? That actually sounded more interesting in this play. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about, Captain? Lieutenant Sharp never left the capsule. Of course he did. He joined me on the surface and was with me when I erected the flag. Negative, Captain. We had a constant visual of the lieutenant and an open calm line with him right up until he was attacked. At no point did he lift, leave the capsule to go to the surface. But if Sharp was in the capsule all along, then who the hell was with me on the surface? <laughs> Uh, 
A bead of sweat began to trickle down my brow, and my heart rate monitor single signaled a dangerously high pulse. Stop reading ahead. What I'm, is, not, I'm not, I'm just reading, yeah, I'm following yeah. what you're saying. I know. I am, I am. Hmm. A dangerously high pulse. Okay. We were right. truly, oh, we truly weren't, sorry. Wait, excuse yeah, me, uh, that's uh, my, okay. Yeah. I well, signaled a dangerously high pulse. We truly weren't alone on this planet, and perhaps even more terrifyingly, we had no idea what it was that was here with us. It certainly looked human. By God, it looked just like the lieutenant. And furthermore, it seems to deliver human waste in vast quantities. But it can't be. It must be something else. Something alien. I've spoken to all the department heads, Captain, and the decision is unanimous. You have to get the hell off that godforsaken planet as fast as you can. You're not gonna have to tell me twice, Houston. Preparing for takeoff now. I quickly wiped down all the poo from the main uh. <laughs> Uh, from the main yeah. console and controls, just as we've been trained to do in the NASA feces distribution uh, program. <laughs> it's getting I'm, even more I'm, realistic by the minute. And thank God for that training. The stuff was everywhere. When I was satisfied with the state of the console and removed the bits of nuts and sweet corn that, uh, <laughs> that had got jammed in the cracks beneath some of the buttons, image as well. I, I, I performed the pre-launch checks. One of life's great <laughs> problems, though. Yeah. Absolutely. You don't know how many times no, I, I have no, to fish will, through will, nuts will, and sweet oh, corn. No, no, no. <laughs> I feel physically ill. And was satisfied with what they revealed. I the feel nauseated. The, the capsule was still in a good enough condition to launch. It was then, as I prepared to switch on the engines and fire off the rockets that would propel me from danger, that I had a most chilling realization. Houston, we have a problem. We don't have time for this, Captain. Launch now! I can't, Houston. What do you mean you can't? It's the keys. I think I left them outside. <laughs> it's a cliffhanger. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it, Johnson, are you sure? It's not a big capsule, Houston. They're definitely not here. How did this happen? You were specifically instructed to keep the keychain attached to your belt. I didn't want to look like a bell end, Houston. Oh. <laughs> He wouldn't use that. <laughs> the Americans don't use he that. He may have done a study abroad program we'll in say, London. Okay. Do you know, know London space School space? of Econ... Oh, no, they oh, wouldn't no, do we don't have Imperial space. College. Imperial. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. We'll say that. He would have met a lot of bellends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not condoning no. that. <laughs> so hold on. Now, now we'll just we've just to our ostracized all the city of Houston, all students uh, no, at Imperial College we London. No, that was written uh, into the script. Well, the no, day. you were the one that made the, no, uh, the slight we've, against that no, we lovely part over of that. the US. Now you make your own apology to the, stu the good students of Imperial, if you will, please. I won't. They're all bellend. <gasps> I didn't want to look like a bell end, Houston. I had the mi Oh, we should probably explain for the benefit of our overseas listeners what a bell end is. I'm not doing that. Matthew, you're involved. probably in the best position to describe. <laughs> I, could, not, you, could you tell the listener what a bell end is? Why am I the best to I've not been to Imperial. <laughs> so you're agreeing? No, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> you, you, I'm sure you've I'm met not. a few bell ends in your time. No. Oh, don't know a bell end it. is a dickhead. They won't know what that is. Either. A dickhead? No, and let's stop now. Well, okay, Come on, we, sorry, we have sorry. to edit all this. We're lowering the tone from right, this, we, from this we, lofty, lofty I didn't write this. erudite plot. I've been dragged through <laughs> this backwards <laughs> right. for the cheap copper pennies that I get uh, well, given for this. Well, I to bestain my own character. <laughs> yeah. Outrageous. I feel like this, there's a lot being stained in this story. Uh. Right. I didn't want to look like a bell end, Houston. I had them in my bag. They must have fallen out when I removed the flag from it. I suppose you're going to tell us you're also not wearing your NASA ID card, lanyard, and high-vis jacket? Of course I am. I'm not an anarchist. Oh, take, take your time. Just turn you know. the page. Have you spent less time drinking that beer and more time focusing? Just licking my fingers to yeah. turn the page. <laughs> Well, that's something, I guess. Listen, Captain, this isn't going to be easy to hear, but there doesn't seem to be any other option. Without those keys, that capsule simply can't launch. You'll be stuck inside until life support runs out of power and the air starves you of oxygen. That's if you haven't already drowned in feces. <laughs> Your only... That's not funny. Your only chance <laughs> of survival that. is to... I know, Houston, I know. My only chance, if I'm to get off this planet alive, is to get those keys, which means going back outside onto the surface. The, 
capsule's monitors turned red, indicating indicating that the airlock door would open them. Oh, God. Oh, we've got something to look forward to. This is like the car alarm in round one. <laughs> indicating that the airlock door, door would open them imminently. The area where I suspected the keys lay was about a half click from here. Back on Earth, I'd cover that in no time. Well, that was but, authentic, wasn't it? Well, click. thank you. Yeah. Click? Yeah. yeah. Do you know what a click is? A kilometer. Very well. Yeah, Very well done. Yeah. So you learn something every time you listen no. to Mysterious Mysteries. I knew it already, but yeah, I was okay. just appreciating the fact that you put it in. I yeah. thought that was yes, a okay. nice diversity. Well, I do my research. Yeah. So do you think I just whip this out That's on a Friday some, afternoon no, without any, any real... thought, any some, research? Yeah, you've got some pure characterization there. Absolutely. I spend well a lot of time at the library, yeah. the reference library. Yeah. You know, it's okay. seven right. minutes this must have taken. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. About half a minute a page. Yeah, yeah. wow. Well, well. Maybe you, maybe one week you can write one, all right? We'll, see, we'll see who's, who's laughing we'll there. We'll start off in true Flibertian style. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, you only used that phrase because I talked over you saying it last week. Oh. <laughs> you want everyone to think how clever I am. <laughs> Uh, right. And I've yeah. rumbled. I've rumbled. Yeah, rumbled. He's been rumbled. The area where I suspected the keys lay was about a half a click from here. Back on Earth, I'd cover that in no time, but here I'd be burdened by my suit. Mars's weak gravity, however, would work in my favor, so I estimated I could get back to safety in the capsule within five minutes, provided, of course, that the keys would be easy to locate. All personnel stand clear. <laughs> yes, I'm, I get. Have a I clearly think we could have a in cigarette the, break in the, in the 20 minutes. Yeah, I we... might actually go to the toilet. Um, do you reckon we've got time? No. No, I okay, would say fine. No. Do you earn it I will, but I'll, it's good time. It makes it easy to drink beer without the, giving okay. the game away. Okay. Mm. Oh, dear. We're, oh. <laughs> Thank you. Where it go, Houston? Godspeed, Captain. Ladder descent complete. Commencing run. Captain, we have the president online on the line for you. But now's not a really a good time, Houston. Captain Johnson, it's President Stroker. Just wanted to say we're all rooting for you here at the White House. Thank you, Willie. I want you to know that when all this is over, there'll be a lamb donner vindaloo in the Oval Office with your name on it. Thank you, sir. It will be a great honor to compete in that challenge with you. The honor will be mine. <laughs> now I will pass you back to Houston. Thank you, sir. Houston, do you read me? Loud and clear, Captain. I have a visual on the flag. EDA. Oh, hold on. We're, on, we're in space. There we go. <laughs> I have a visual on the flag. EDA, 15 seconds. Remember, Captain, every second counts. As soon as you get there, you must start your search for the keys Immediately. See, that's what I'm saying about Graham Stephen McCoy. You start your search immediately. No, no I'm just American. but a humble no, farm no. hat. <laughs> Plow. No, I, no, I was American in that. Oh no. my God, how emotional was that no, when, when the groundskeeper I'm, died? No, well, oh, yeah. this is very unprofessional. We shouldn't be talking about last week's no. episode. If you haven't listened to last week's episode, then what are you doing? Well, get, get, stop this and listen to episode one. For right. the keys, immediately. Ah, yes. Thank you, Houston. I don't know what I'd do without you guys. Right, approaching the flag now. Where are they? Come on, where are they? Houston, I can't see them. They must be there. Look closely, Captain. I'm telling you, they're not here. Have you tried the poo? No, it looks like it would taste disgusting. <laughs> That's not what I meant, Johnson. <laughs> I meant, have you tried searching for the poo? The keys may be buried within it. Buried. All right. All right. Let me see. Putting my hand in now. Mm. Oh, mm, squishy. Mm. This reminds me of the cat. Oh. <laughs> yep, yep. There, no. there's something there. Oh. No, no, no. That's it just is, that's just a bit of peanut. It is gloved, listen. <laughs> oh. Going back in. Oh, mm. no. oh, oh, what's this? Make, no. uh, oh, it's a it's a dead hamster in a oh, condom. I can't I'm, take, I'm taking off my headphones. <laughs> it's a dead hamster in a condom. I passed one of those myself. Oh. <laughs> Continuing the search. Hold on. Hold on, I've got something. I've got something. We're drawing now. A dead hamster in a... Oh. <laughs> I had to take my headphones off for that. Is it the keys, Captain? Yes, yes, it's the keys. They're heavily soiled, but otherwise intact. Excellent. Now don't just stand there. Get back to the capsule. I'd never felt as much elation in my whole life as I did in that one moment. I had my ticket home and off this hellhole planet. And so I turned round to the direction of the capsule but I didn't run. I didn't so much as take a step. I could hear Houston screaming at me through the calm, but it was no use. I was completely frozen on the spot which I stood, because only a few meters in front of me, 
acting as a barrier between myself and the capsule, stood Lieutenant Shard. Oh, God. Why aren't you moving? What's going on up? Uh, Houston? Houston, are you there? It's no use, Captain. I've severed the connection. You. I, I watched you die. You are quite mistaken, Captain. Yes, you did see your left Lieutenant <laughs> Shart. I think his name was. Yes, you indeed saw him die, but I... I'm very much alive. What are you? Tell me, what the hell are you? A natural question to ask, Captain, but I think you may know... Already know the answer. A parrot? I guess not, <laughs> then. Let me explain. I may have the outward appearance of being your friend and comrade, Lieutenant, Lieutenant Shark. Come I'm on, struggling get it this, together. Uh, I'm struggling with it. But that is not my true form. You see, my kind have an ability. An ability that proves most useful in situations such as these. We have the ability to adapt the form of he whose life we most recently claimed. But enough of this charade, Captain. Allow me to reveal to you my true form. Is that the end? Oh, okay. Sorry, I, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> the seminal moment of the plot. Well, it I was. I was really like, getting into You it. were, you were. But wasn't quite sort of engaging enough to keep me, and I'm only on the opposite side of the room to you. Well, you wrote it. <laughs> well played. With a great flash, the body of Lieutenant Shart that stood before me began to break down and transform. I took a step back and shielded my eyes to protect them from the brilliance of the light gushing from the metamorphic entity in front of me, only able to make out its silhouette getting bigger and bigger until its great mass encompassed nearly my entire field of vision. With the transition complete, the light extinguished and my eyes began to adjust and focus on what was now in front of me. I gasped now understanding the lieutenant's dying words to me. For in front of me stood an absolutely enormous piece of shit. And I've fallen asleep. You, I was going to say, you, you, act, you just, you didn't look like annoyed or angry you just looked disappointed in me when that happened you were disappointed i'll be honest i was i was guessing that that was gonna happen uh, at oh some step. i you was cracked thinking, the case did well, you it is called mars poopiel yeah so i was thinking that is a bit of a giveaway i was thinking what's the most imaginative uh uh, uh peroration of this speech and yeah I thought, yes. and then what's the least imaginative one because that's what it's gonna I be think it was that. <laughs> yeah. and right. you've done it i've done it thank you I stood there, speechless and overwhelmed by the smell, as I heard its voice for the first time. A most peculiar accent it was, too. A rich baritone with an unworldly accent, as if part North African and part Hungarian. And as it spoke, it spit out small pieces of poo all over the vicinity. I can't <laughs> do that! <laughs> Easy! North African and part Wait, Hungarian. A, a rich baritone and with rich an baritone. unworldly accent. As, as if part North African and part Hungarian. Please pray tell me, what is an Hungarian accent? Well. Is it? <laughs> I'd have thought you and would you know. Stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're, uh, the, you're the actor. You, you're, uh, I guess the poo is the baddie. Yes. Okay, so we'll go for a baddie. Otherworldly baddie. Yeah, part North African. Other, otherworldly. And part Hungarian. And part Hungarian. Rich baritone. Uh, part, part Hungarian. Uh, you look surprised. That, that sounds a bit too Albanian. No, <laughs> Albanian. <laughs> you look surprised, Captain. Mm, okay. All right. Yeah. Matthew, just for the benefit of the audience at home, Matthew looks very pleased with himself <laughs> right now. <laughs> I'm trying to convince him to accept it because right. that's all he's going to get. I don't understand. How is this possible? How can so much human feces be on this planet? The ignorance of your species never ceases to amaze me, Captain. <laughs> it is your people's greed that has given rise to this. Your unparalleled arrogance indulging yourselves in endless curry house challenges. Did you think there would be no consequences? That you could 
Oh, that you could just eject tons of waste and toxic gases into your home world and continue your ways without ramifications. Of course not, you fool. Your planet could not survive it. A seminal social commentary on well, the Well, well, thank you. I've done it again, haven't I? On the environmental Yeah, I was wondering aerosols. if you'd pick up on that. It yeah. was very subtle. The extinction of CMCs, all yeah. that affecting our dear world. Absolutely. That you could just detect tons of waste and toxic gases into your home world and continue your ways without any ramifications? Of course not, you fool. Your planet could not survive it. But rather than change your ways, the coward you call President Willie Stroker (laughs) came up with an alternative to take all that waste and dump it on another world. Humanity would be able to continue gorging itself on Masala while another planet suffered the consequences, or so he thought. Yes, what President Stroker didn't realise was that by transporting us to this climate, he actually made us more powerful than he could possibly have imagined. And now, Captain, we are ready to return to Earth and extinguish the scourge that is humanity. And you, my friend, have provided our means of transportation. Well done. Well done. A bit wordy, actually, oh, now that I look back at yeah, it. Yeah, half an A4 page down the line. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if we lost half our listenership. Speaking as a talking poo, you've, <laughs> not exa- you've not exactly set me up for an easy one, have you, Mick? Bloody hell. How am I supposed to... <laughs> Not and just an, a talking poo, an enormous talking an enorm- poo. And an we're, we're talking, this, this, and he's part Hungarian. Oh. We're talking like I've never come across a Hungarian, if such a thing. Well, exists. maybe you should broaden your horizons. Yeah, well, Matthew. if you can give me an example, I'll be broadening them. But until well, then, of a Hungarian, I should be doing my own interpretation. <laughs> I always keep one hand. In. I should be doing my own interpretation of an enormous talking poo. Thank that's you very much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's true. If anyone would know what that sounds like, it would be you. Right? No, you can't. No, no, you can't. I won't let you. How dare I, I'd, ra- you. I'd rather die than let you take the capsule back to Earth. Oh, Captain Sweet. Oh, oh, <laughs> Captain Sweet, Captain. I don't think you Sweet, quite... naive, Captain. Naive, Captain. I don't think you quite realise that it is precisely your death that will be our ticket off this planet. As the poo slowly slid its great bulk in my direction, it finally dawned on me what it meant. After killing the lieutenant, it could adopt his form so accurately it even fooled me. Once I too was dead, it would be my form it could take, and Houston would be none the wiser. As it spread its toxic feces at me, slowly burying me above the Martian ground, I looked up at the stars and picked out Earth amongst them. I could feel myself slipping away, my body hanging on to its last few moments under the pressure of the overwhelming excrement, and after one final look at my home world, I stopped fighting and sank into my smelly deathbed. Captain Johnson, come in, Captain. Are you reading this? Affirmative, Houston. Reading you loud and clear. Thank God we lost communication with you for a few minutes. What's your status? All good here, Houston. I returned to the capsule without incident, about to open the airlock. Sorry. I, yeah. This is the fourth time we've had to listen to this now. He, yeah. 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 Just, um, yeah, just maybe look over your I'm, upcoming I'm, lines. I don't actually say anything in the rest of this play now, oh, because yeah. you've taken my form. And still it continues. Yeah, and yes, it continues. This is a long one, isn't it? <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> See many good films recently? <laughs> 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 Just look out the window. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Touch up and do my makeup. Okay, are we? <laughs> oh, hold on, you're in. I'm in. Putting the keys into the ignition now. Excellent work, Captain. Now come on home. Affirmative, Houston. I've been waiting to come back for longer than you could possibly know. <laughs> Captain's Log, Stardate 57239043789472587. Can sorry, can you do that again? That quite but it's um it? you're supposed it's supposed to be point, not dot. Oh sorry. Yeah. Captain's Log, Stardate 
5723904378947849257 By the time you read this archive Houston it will already be too late The man you will have given a hero's welcome back to earth is not who you think he is No that man Captain Harry Long Johnson did not make his journey back But do not pity him do not mourn him for he was one of the lucky ones. Pity yourselves, mourn yourselves, for as you read these words, I have already begun my purge of humanity, slaughtering you while you congratulate, adopting your appearance while you applaud. Yes, pity yourselves, Houston, as it is only a matter of time before it is your form that I am taking. <laughs> Well, I'm enjoying this strident, dramatic ending. Absolutely. That was a bit cheery Disney at the end, didn't you think? That that little score. It's very positive. (laughs) It's just like, the world is going to all... Everyone in the world is going to (laughs) die. A positive music. Mickey Mouse appears. A positive musicality towards the end, whilst we had such devastation reap towards the end of the script. Absolutely. Talking of big, enormous human poos taking on human form, I should (laughs) say. Or rather, enormous uh, Martian poos taking on human form. I feel like I've got one here in the studio with me. (laughs) Well, well said. The the, the great author of that script. I still, I feel from what you just said that you didn't quite understand that, Matthew. It was, it was, so... It's not a good sign that I have to explain this. No, it is. Yeah. It was a Martian. It, well, I have to say, it was a very um, challenging piece of science fiction. Right. And now, if there are people at home who didn't quite follow bits of that, that's fine. You know, we, we're not all of Olympian intellect, yeah. such as myself. Yeah. It, so I can assure can, you, listener, that it was not of any great Olympian <laughs> intellect that wrote that. Nor indeed does it take one to learn from it. <laughs> Basically... They had been gorging themselves on Curry House challenges back on Earth. Even President Willie Stroker. Yeah. And so he was... The, the poo was destroying the planet, all the methane, much like we are destroying our own planet. Oh. You know. Yeah. And so his solution was to put all the poo on Mars. But uh, the conditions yes. on Mars were such that the poo could quickly evolve into this creature uh, that could take human form. Yeah. And so it took the humans on Mars... And, kept and killed them. And do you think pretended that... to be Captain Johnson and oh. flew back and not, and now is killing everyone on Earth. And could that actually happen in reality? Do you think, Mick? I well, or the, has this been one the, big stitch the, up? The, the, there, That's there, what there I'd is, like to There make. is historical precedent. Oh really? But yes. Go on. I believe, like you were alluding to earlier, the people of Houston are in fact. Just oh! a... <laughs> no, that has no, to, no, 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 no. I'm joking. Uh, no, Imperial College, a, though, they definitely not, uh, are. They definitely that's are. Even closer to her. That's not even that. No, that's well, well, we can't make it habit of insulting our audience no 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 it would be unwise no, indeed it's yeah um, well thank you for having, i did enjoy it slightly yeah, i enjoyed slightly. some of the it was hard to get the differentiation between each of the different it, well i i have to say i don't think you did a very good job American of that today. Accents. last last yeah, week you many, were excellent no but i'm good at i could do southern southern which yeah I didn't, and then i could do I didn't know if I could do a New York. Well, well, well oh, you, did, you didn't a, even try. I could do a gangster. Should we, should we start again and do two? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think that went well. No. Then, well. I could do a gangster. Maybe we'll Didn't, save that. Up. Yeah. Well, fortunately for you, in next week's play, it, there are very clear distinctions between accent. Next week's play is an absolute cracker, by the way. Are we allowed to announce? Shall it? we announce it? Okay. Are we allowed I'll, to? I'll well, I, I don't know yeah, what it well, is. You don't even I know what it is. I'll, I'll announce it. Either. I see them when you see them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, listener, yeah. That's not you, Mick. <laughs> Next, that great oaf that writes them. <laughs> Next week's play is called The Jolly Rogerer. <laughs> I do actually quite like the sound <laughs> of, a, of a pirate themed one. That would be quite funny. What are you, from, from those three words, yeah. The Jolly Rogerer? I'm getting, well, what I don't, direction do you think that play is going to take? I'm quite enjoying a pirate theme. Yes. Could be quite amusing. There is certainly. Roger, I immediately thought of Roger Federer. I don't know why. I just oh, thought of, okay. Yeah. Um, so that, maybe, that is not Roger, not Roger. No, I know. Yeah. Wasn't there a champagne called Rodera or something like that? Yes. Big <laughs> <laughs> uh, loss. Uh, I thought so. Yeah, Roger, uh, I'm not going to get into details, but I guess there's a sexual but, but you, do you, you, well, 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 we'll wait and see. We'll wait and, we'll see. Wait and see. But um, it, it's a very exciting play. Okay. It is. I look forward so, to it. So, um, one thing we neglected to mention last week, 
was that we can be contacted and we welcome it. We welcome it. We have an email address. Matthew, would you like to talk them through all the addresses? Oh, wait, you can't. I don't know. Because you do absolutely <laughs> nothing else but turn up here, record, and then leave. This is how I was instructed. I'm kept in the blind about all of mm. this, and that's how I can leave here without a stain on my character. There, there's nothing stopping you doing a bit of admin, doing a bit of the brunt work. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll farm my nails while we type the emails. I'll do that. <laughs> don't worry. Fair enough. Very well. Right, our email address is mysteriousmysteries at outlook.com. Feel free to send us comments, thoughts pornographic images no, no, no. well pornographic no. No. no I don't want that oh well we don't want that on the, in our email accounts mm, no well speak for yourself <laughs> okay, <laughs> well, okay fine no pornographic images no but um funny images of perhaps giant talking poos that would be welcome Matthew, are you happy to have uh, them emailed us all those kind of things? Not particularly. Just, no, no. S- s- stick to just stick checks, to the really. For, yeah. <laughs> bank check transfer. donations. Yeah. 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 Just general praise. Confirmation of payment. Job offers. Idea. Job offers. Oh, so yeah. that we never have to do this again. Oh, um, wow. Yeah. Oh, um, uh, yeah. And we've also got the social medias, of which Matthew is a big fan. He's more of a Snapchatter, to be fair. <laughs> but uh, but we do have a Twitter account. That one is at Podcast Mystery because someone had taken Mysterious Mysteries and that was really annoying. I know. Had and the, they? Yeah, oh, they had. Take it back off them. Yeah, well, well absolutely. This is our by, idea first. By it's force, like, oh, if you your idea first. Under duress. Uh, and we have an Instagram and a Facebook, which are both at Mysterious Mysteries Podcast. That is it. I covered it. Um, you, you should note that down, Matthew. I've, God I've, knows you don't know any of those I've details. I've been licking my body, right? Right. That's not all you've been <laughs> licking. And there we go. <laughs> And there we are. Like a dog, sat in the corner, <laughs> leg is... hoisted in no, the air. <laughs> <laughs> and on that beautiful even... image... I don't do that. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Thank you and join us next week for Mysterious Mysteries. <laughs> Mysterious Monsteries.